All right, so this, this matchup, I don't know, it's hard to say. Both both these characters aren't the most popular. Like, there's popular, Luigi's popular in SoCal, but... Bowser Jr., like, I think the only Bowser Jr. player I've ever seen in SoCal is Kaden Air. Yes. No, there's Ketchup. Ketchup plays, Oh, though. Ketchup, yeah, right by that. Yeah, I mean, oh, just calls out the dropping shield right there. That was brutal. It's just, it can be it can be hard for Junior because Junior gets combo, is susceptible to all the combo game that Luigi brings to the table, so it can be pretty rough. Oh, and the Mecha Koopa saving him right there because Luigi ended up picking it up during the middle of the combo, so they didn't eat the full combo off of it. But gets a parry in the forward smash, nice damage right there. Gets a fair off stage and air dodge into this. Not gonna get the second hit of the uh, of the explosion, but gets the forward smash off of the jump read. Yeah, that's big. Okay, gets the up but no, no fuzzy dice. Here we go, the up air, up air, up air, so and many up airs, yeah. Jesus. He got like so much damage just off of that. I mean, it's one of those things where like Bowser Jr. If you can read the DI, you can get like five or six up airs. Like, oh my God, he just. Barely teching it, and so no, not gonna be able to find the stock right there. But that was a good things on Kong Kong right there. Oh Ooh. man, wow, the dash down smash that almost didn't kill. Yeah. That's the wild part. That almost didn't kill. Like, I mean, what, to uh, be fair, that was from like center stage at like below 100%. So true. No, the landing hitbox is a fair. You know, you gotta wait for that move to end. Yeah, now now Tater is in the lead. Surprisingly, that's that, that's a huge turnaround. Ooh, but the up smash, you no know, challenging out the aggressive option back on the stage, and Tater just finding his way back to the stage. Yeah, and he still has to close out this this second stock. Oh wait, but the down smash. Okay, now he's pretty much back in it. Right. I mean, as long as he can grab at zero percent, you know, I feel like. I like. I, I wonder if that was planned. You know, Tater Nader kind of just like sitting on the top platform, eating the Mega Koopa explosion just to get out of the the, the, the down throw like cyclone vortex. Combo. Right. And now it's like super close. Pretty much last stock, but the Uppy oh. gonna get a lot of damage, but not enough for the stock. Oh, are you? Are you, you want to rephrase your statement? Wait, wait really? Yeah. He a, died from that? Yeah, he died from that. Dude, I was like for sure they did that. <laughs> like, like super for sure. Wow, that's very, very impressive. Wow, I can't. I still can't believe he died from that. There we go. Making the run back back to battlefield. All right, so battlefield, Concon taking game one, but this is best of five, so. That is a super huge game changer here. Back air, gonna get some solid damage. I wonder if Konkon knows if you can like shield that and then like grab it, because he hasn't been doing that. Oh, but he knows he can up B out of anything out of shield. You know, Tatanator is uh, really strong with all these aerials. Yeah, it's. it's but I mean, T Tater is doesn't have like full stage control. I like how he's using the armor to come in with that. That's that's a really really big deal. I mean, you see Tater here just kind of like using the the cannonball like fair and fair as a way to like approach Luigi. You know, if he doesn't want to fully commit, he can just like drift away. If he does want to commit, he can use the fast falling thing to make the the landing hitbox a, a factor. But you know, Tater here will kind of die to the cyclone right there. Yeah, that Cyclone is so strong. Now Luigi's only that like, okay, I see you got upper juggles. Let me show you my own upper juggles. Except I can finish it with a back air that's super strong. Yeah, then that that I feel like that's where Luigi can he has more reliable kill power. Like it like Junior has kill power, but it's not as like quick and reliable as Luigi. Oh yeah, I mean Luigi has the, the smash attack which are all better than Junior's in, for the most part, except maybe forward smash. He has no kill throws mm -hmm. off of uh, down throw into up B or down throw into tornado. Uh, and even like at high percents, like back throws a kill throw. Like Junior doesn't have anything off of this throw, not really. Yeah. The one like curveball that Junior has is that rapid jab. But right now, dude, 
the rapid jab and then the up B. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but no, he's not going to go back to ledge. And Damn, three stocked. Yeah. I won that game too. Oh. Let's get it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a fun game. I, it's uh, very similar to auto chess. Yeah. It's pretty much auto chess. <laughs> not even civil war. But yeah, I mean, that that's a tough one to swallow, man. Uh, three stock coming out from Con Con. Con Con did beat him in winners, too. It sucks getting double eliminated by the same person. Right. It, like, in any bracket, in any game. I wonder if we're going to see the Inkling pop up. I mean, possibly. No. Uh, I mean, I think at this point he was... In the beginning of the game, maybe Tater would have switched. But I think at this point of the game, he is just fully committed to Wendy. Yeah, it can be hard juggling multiple characters in Ultimate. I think it's, I don't think it's necessary, but I think it's very, very helpful in this game because this game has so many characters, right? And right. it's like, counterpicking is such a big deal in this game. Okay, is he gonna continue this platform pressure? No, but the, I like the wave land after like the multi-hit scramble. I feel like not a lot of people, like they'll mess up kind of thing, you know what I mean? But that that uh, that up B, he almost caught him with the jump. That would have been a big deal. Luigi with no jump off stage is pretty much the freest thing ever. You just need to hit him with like one aerial and he's dead. Yeah, and you know he has to side B. His air drift is so bad. Okay, gonna shield the Koopa again. And that, that was a big hit to the Mecha Koopa. Before the Mecha Koopa used to like keep moving after hitting shield, but in this game it kind of like hits the shield and it's like meh. Yeah. meh. <laughs> so opens his mouth. It's and a like, small meh. nerf, but nerf nonetheless. But manages to sneak in that up B hit and gets the bear off stage. No, he Ooh, gets the dare instead, yeah. and that's gonna gimp him because he can use the side B to get his double jump back. Yeah, that was a big deal. Tater knew, for the most part, that after that directional air dodge, he had to jump because the, the directional air dodge sinks him so low. So Tater Nader putting a very long lingering hitbox, being neutral air, just nipping him out. He just needed to hit him after the double jump. That's pretty much the only thing he had to do. And even a misfire wouldn't have saved Konkon in that situation. But yet again, Konkon like striking back hard. You know, he's just looking for that one hit, but he's off stage. And I like that what he did right there. You know, he's trying to go for the dare just to like hit him at like 30%. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got to against Luigi. Like this character is on stage can be so devastating. It's not like consistent because grab's not like super reliable, but if he gets certain hits, Luigi can destroy you. So you really got to abuse Luigi off stage. I mean, I feel like Luigi has one of the better grabs in the game. Yeah, I mean, it's in terms of like it's bad out of shield, I should say. It's, yeah, I know. Yeah, okay. yeah, like it, it it has really good range. So there's certain situations where you, it's more applicable than other grabs, but it out of shield is not the greatest. I mean, oh? I feel like most grabs out of shield are like not Right, right. Grabbing out shield is just bad in general, but like Luigi and like Ivysaur, like you can, you have more block strings than you usually do against. You know Those what I mean? Right. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, like that. This isn't usually a block string, but oh, I'm fighting Luigi. Like now, dude. <laughs> so, but right now, pretty much tick for tack here. Both players at two stocks apiece. And you know, Luigi's gonna be looking for that down throw cyclone, but no, Tatonator air dodging off stage to avoid it. Okay, trying to set up the Zares. But here's the Cyclone to intercept him, and off the top we go, 144%. Konkon taking that second stock. This is very, very pivotal. And we'll see if Konkon can close it out 3-0 here against Taternator. Here we go, back to the Fireball camping, you know. He knows that he doesn't <laughs> have to approach Wendy as much. Right, oh, but that's so good at catching normal get up, but Konkon barely survived there. No, no coverage on the air dodge, up to the ledge, and once again, okay. We're gonna get the run back on that. You know, 13%, this is definitely doable for Taternator. Yeah, he's so. just gotta watch out for the, Luigi at low percent is so scary, because you, you just get snatched up by the plunger, and you, you never know what's gonna happen. You could die, but wow, Kong Kong is gonna catch up with a bunch of damage right now. And I like what Kong Kong's doing. He's just putting a whole bunch of aerial pressure on him, and then once he gets one hit, he gets like five or six hit. Yeah, exactly. Like, falling Nair, even at lower percents, the strong hit of falling Nair, or like the weak hit of Nair, you can just, it pretty much, go time after that, right? You just go into any aerial. Or like, not even like Nair, like up there is a really good combo because it combos into itself, it combos into the bear. So, yeah. yet again, you, all he just needs is to land that one hit and then he can just go on a tear. And it's so scary too, because a, a lot of people will go on the platform to avoid Luigi at low percent, but you know, if he gets the, if he starts nipping you with up airs on the platform, you can get those extensions and stuff, like we saw earlier, you know? And again, he's off stage, but you know Full rage, or pretty much almost full rage and okay. This is looking pretty dangerous. Konga gets hit by a forward smash. Oh, there's the up smash. Oh, no, it's not. Wow, wow. Man, that cross up makes it so it's uh, oh. not safe, but not forward smashable. All right, but 
There he is off stage, and no one just so deep. Yeah. Hopping to just go super. No, and then he gets down B, but yet again, good DI on Tater Nader, avoiding the 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 kill hitbox of this down B. Oh and, my god. And that's the crazy thing about Cyclone, man. Um, Konkan always make oh, and that should be it. I don't even know. Yeah, that yeah, that's hard to DI because it's hard to tell which side. Right. But so much Luigi's they'll act like or like be like, oh, I'm in a really really bad spot. This is where they can come in and commit. But because Luigi has that iframes on the down B, you have to be very careful and respect him in almost any position in the game. Right. Which can be very frustrating to deal with, but it's the way it is. And the second thing is like, like you have to wait for it all to land. Because yeah. if you drop your shield for even a second trying to punish it a little bit early, you're going to get hit by that last. And that last is the one that's like the most important. That's yep, the kill yep, hit. Yep. And that, that's